Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. Um, this will be a general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or anybody who has Gemini really prominent in their birth chart. Um, it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. Keep that in mind that I'm reading for a lot of people. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, if it's not your reading, don't try to make it fit. It just means it's not your reading this time around and maybe next week it'll be your reading. Um, let's just get started and see what we have for Gemini's. Spirit Gemini, please. What does Gemini need to know in regards to love? Messages for Gemini, please. For Gemini, please, in regards to love. What messages do you have for Gemini? In regards to love. What messages do you have for Gemini? Messages for Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I read all of your comments and I really appreciate you taking the time to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. The likes and subscribes help out the channel the, a lot, so thank you. All right, let's see for Gemini. I don't want to take a card yet, sorry. <laughs> I will when it feels right. For Gemini, please. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. What else for Gemini? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Interesting. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, Gemini. So what I'm getting here is a few messages. What's at the bottom? Healing family issues is at the bottom here. I'm getting a few messages here. I feel like for the Geminis that I'm reading for, there is some sort of disconnect between you and this person. I'm also picking up that some of you, this is just a friend. This is not somebody that you've actually been in some sort of relationship with. Um, for some of you, you haven't even talked about your feelings with this other person. So you might be single right now. But I, I sense a disconnect and I think it has to do with, I think this finest is in career card. Honestly, the, the moment that I saw it, I thought of excuses. So almost like, someone might be using this as an excuse for why their love life is in the state that it's in. I think also this disconnect card could be with, you know, in regards or related to what's happening right now in the world where everybody's kind of distant from each other. Now with work on your partnership, give your relationship a chance. That one, for some reason, I don't think that's for people that are in a, like, I feel like if that's a connection that's distant, then yes, you need to make an effort to bring it together. But I'm more reading that as you need to give this relationship a shot and stop making excuses. That kind of energy is what I'm picking up. So let's see, let's see what the tarot has to say. For Gemini, please. What messages do you have for Gemini in regards to love? For Gemini, please. What messages do we have for Gemini in regards to love? I'm going to keep it simple today. I'm just going to do a past, present love spread. So we'll see what comes out for you. Nope. There you go. King of Swords reverse, Page of Pentacles reverse, Three of Cups reverse. Okay, so in the past, something here didn't take off. Uh, communication was bad. Either you weren't communicating very openly or honestly with each other. Uh, commitment never took off here, never even started. Three of Swords reverse. Some of you are definitely a third party. I have the Three of Cups reverse and the Three of Swords reverse. A third party interference here. And this could be another partner. 
that someone has, or it could be a family member, a friend, or it could be this finances and career situation. Wow, Ace of Cups, what? Right in the center of the spread, Four of Wands reverse, interesting. So I feel like there's, currently at the present time, there's opportunity for new love, um, but I feel like this third party is still a factor, and it could have, have something to do with family issues, because I have four wands here and that was at the bottom of the deck here for you now there could be family another family like in this third party um they might have a family or you might have a family justice wow okay gemini five of cups ten of cups wow what a way to end this reading a lot of potential here. I think the past is a is a burden. Um, someone's thinking about the past. You might be missing each other with the Five of Cups here. You might be missing each other, thinking about each other, um, maybe focused on what didn't work out between you. Um, I feel like this person wants to make things right because I have justice here. Something's gonna be made right for you, Gemini. You're gonna get justice in this situation. Things are going to be balanced and fair for you again. Um, the right decisions will be made and they'll, they'll be in your favor here for your benefit. What's at the bottom of the deck? Wow. The Empress. Potential for growth, for love, for investment, for abundance. A lot of potential here, I see. So I'm just going to clarify some of these because I feel like not every card needs to be clarified. Like that Ace of Cups in the center, I don't feel the need to clarify that, for example. I'm just going to clarify with the same deck. And yes, we do reversals on this channel. Reversals are not bad cards. I keep getting comments from people. You have a lot of reversals, yes. And <laughs> I don't know what cards are going to come out. Otherwise, why would I even do this on camera, right? I would just pick the cards and be like, these are the cards I chose. This is the message, right? I just think that's funny when they say that. So I feel like there is some sort of interference for, for most of you that I'm like, for the majority of you that I'm reading for, there's inter an interference in your connection that has kept this connection from really coming together. Um, possibly also someone has not been able to express how they feel, like genuinely express how they feel. Um, maybe there's been a lot that's been unsaid here. And I, I say that because I have the King of Swords reversed at the top. He's not a good communicator. He's a terrible communicator, actually. Also, not the best person to be dealing with. So either you're dealing with someone difficult and having communication problems, whether it's a family member, a friend, a partnership, or an, uh, not a partnership, another partner, or there's been, you know, something that has been kind of hidden or not communicated here. Oh my gosh, can I keep my cards in my hand? So let's see what we have here. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for Gemini. Why is the King of Swords reversed here? Oh, the star. Aquarius energy with the star. So I feel like whatever here was communicated, there needs to be a healing. Almost like it was painful communication or um, a difficult person to deal with and Whoever's dealing with this King of Swords reverse needs to heal themselves. I'm also picking up, I just got a message. Um, I'm also picking up that um, someone has been wanting to renew or heal communication. Let's see, what else can we get with this King of Swords reverse? The star is all about renewal, hope, faith, healing. So something happened with this King of Swords. Someone very emotionally closed off. 
Yeah, see, Eight of Wands reverse. This is this has to do with communication. Either communication, it was just completely stopped, or you stopped talking to this person or something. Uh, we got the devil here. Capricorn energy. So yeah, it's almost like whatever happened with this King of Swords, very toxic energy, um, unhealthy. It was an unhealthy situation. Um, the communication was not the best between you and this person, whoever this is. And I feel like you've been trying to either heal it or someone wants to heal it, whether it's you or this other person. Whoever's responsible for this King of Swords reverse energy. Not a lot of communication, intercepted communication. Um, I feel like, again, this is like a third party interference. Tell me about this Three of Cups reverse. Why is this Three of Cups reverse? Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like a third party interference kept something from really growing or building here. Actually, I'm going to move this first over here. Tell me more about this Three of Cups. Death, Scorpio energy. We're getting a lot of major arcanas like coming up to clarify. And, and so, okay, so it might have ended things between you or changed the dynamic between you. Um, I feel like someone here has walked away after ending something. Either someone has walked away from their third party or someone walked away because of a third party. So maybe you were uh, talking to somebody and they had a another partner and you were like, nope, I'm not going to get in the middle of that. And you, you walked away from a third party situation or someone walked away because of a third party situation. Tell me about this Three of Swords reverse. Five of Swords. Again, with the communication, possibly deception here with the Five of Swords. A lot of pain, disappointment here. Someone wasn't playing fair, and that's why things are going to be balanced again and fair to you because it wasn't fair to you, Gemini. Tell me more for this Three of Swords reverse. Eight of wheels so the eight of pentacles here again i just get the sense that someone yeah five of pentacles i almost get the sense that someone here wants to work on this you know like work on whatever happened here that like someone whatever someone did to you where it wasn't fair it was deceptive it was they, it was a, a, a lost battle, maybe a fight, um, some sort of ending, um, and someone here ended up disconnecting, um, retreating, like that card says, with the Eight of Cups. Someone like disconnected or um, felt like they were left behind, abandoned. And I feel like someone is like working on this. How to fix this. How to improve this because i have the three of swords reverse so it's almost like a be uh, the beginning of healing here it could also be that the the three of swords reverse is still the um third party but someone here it's like they it's al almost like they want to make up for this third party situation what's at the bottom queen of wands reverse interesting This Queen of Wands reverse could be the third party. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Queen of Wands reverse tends to be uh, an attention hog. Interesting. 
They tend to be an attention hog. They don't care about the consequences of their actions. They're only thinking about themselves when they make decisions, when they act. I feel like all of this is leading into this Ace of Cups. It's like this Ace of Cups is like the eye of the hurricane. <laughs> it's kind of in the middle of this mess. Tell me about this Four of Wands reverse. Four of Wands reverse is no harmony, no peace in the home, lack of balance. Yep, and then just as I say that the Five of Wands, it's reversed on the floor, but it could have been upright. There's some sort of a conflict here in the home. Any more seven of swords reverse. Well, okay. Someone someone was caught doing something. <laughs> and it caused conflict. Let me get one more for this four of wands reverse. But I'm just picking up that this already happened. It's almost like someone's dealing with the consequences of this, but not like it's not like this is um unfolding right now. It's like it already happened. Nine of Cups reversed. I feel like someone's wish here was not granted. It's almost like they wished for harmony and peace and stability and they got this. Conflict, um, family issues. Now the fighting is over with the Five of Wands reversed. When the Five of Wands is reversed, the fighting is over. Um, the arguing has stopped. Um, it could also be that the argument went too far. But um, I feel like someone was caught um, sneak, sneaking out of a partnership or doing something they weren't supposed to, basically, with the Seven of Swords reversed. So it's almost like someone here, um, they, they, they got their wish, but it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. It could be with this third party. This could also be you, Gemini. Um, maybe you are in some sort of a connection or a family situation where... Your wish is not being granted. It's just conflict and deception. Take it however it resonates because, you know, this is a past, present, future spread. This could be all about you. could be all about your person or a mix of both, both energies here. What's at the bottom? The Hierophant. Interesting. Taurus energy could be, uh, this could be in regards to a commitment. Someone did not get the wish that they wanted. You know, their wish was not granted when it came to a commitment. Or maybe they got into a commitment thinking that was going to be it for them. That's going to be their four of wands. And it, it wasn't. Whatever ended up here. It, it, it's almost like something had potential. With Ace of Wands. It's reversed, but something had potential and it never took off. Instead, it ended. And I feel it ended because someone chose a third party and it's not what they thought it was going to be. And you've had this kind of reading before, Gemini, where the grass wasn't greener on the other side, something like that. Tell me about justice, please. Why is justice here for Gemini? Why is justice here? Higher font again. Interesting. This could be some sort of legal matter with a commitment or contract. Could be justice in regards to a connection or a commitment here. Now we got the eight of cups that just flipped out. We got one more for justice. What else can you give me for justice? Page of Cups reversed. Heartbreak, disappointment. And then I have the Two of Wands at the bottom. So it's almost like someone, because of the heartbreak and disappointment, is choosing a different path. I have the Hierophant, Eight of Cups, and then the Page of Cups reversed. This, this is someone that's probably walking away from a commitment because it was very difficult, heartbreaking. They could be getting a divorce. They could be having a lot of regrets. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Whew. 
Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Eight of Swords reversed. Someone's getting out of their head. I got one more for this Five of Cups. Someone's seeing a way out of their mind. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Cups. Someone is seeing a way out, trying to, it's almost like they're trying to manifest this opportunity. And it's because of regret and remorse and feeling disappointment and, and the disappointment, you know? They have lost something with the Five of Cups. And at first they might've been focused on what they lost with the Eight of Swords. But now it's reversed. I feel like they're getting out of that and thinking about commitment opportunity something stable solid and it's almost like they're thinking you know how do i go about this with the um seven of cups what options do i have i mean i have this ace of pentacles right under the ace of cups this is based on love but it's a serious offer here Tell me about the Ten of Cups. This is like the ultimate happiness here with the Ten of Cups. Another card for family. Page of Swords Reverse. Can I get one more for the Ten of Cups? The Hangman. So this could be that someone is a little bit stuck, um, unable to communicate or express themselves. They don't have the Knight of Swords at the bottom. So this is definitely about feeling a little bit kind of like in suspension, hesitating about communicating, being honest, delivering this truth. It's like they're not fully ready with the Page of Swords reversed to really express themselves, but that's what's needed. I feel like this person, um, Gemini, they've always thought of you as their Ten of Cups, no matter where they were. Um, but for some reason, maybe what happened in the past keeps them tied up, you know, fearful. It makes them hesitate, makes them procrast makes makes them procrastinate. Um, can I get one more for this? We got the King of Pentacles here. So now we have a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles on the board. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And then have the world reverse. This is all about unfinished business, lack of closure. I feel like you haven't had closure with this person. Um, and there's potential here for growth, for something new to begin with the Empress, for something to be manifested. Um, I feel like someone needs to open up and just make this offer. Um, get over their fear, get over their hesitation, um, and go for it. I think your past is just, it's almost like your past has been so complex, complicated, that now it's like, give this relationship a chance, you know, stop making excuses. Someone's making excuses to not make this offer. It's almost like, eh, well, maybe it's just not the right time. Maybe I need to take a little bit, I think need to think about it a little bit more. Maybe I need more of this, more of that. Maybe I need to have better job, better career. You know, um, that's the same thing. <laughs> better job or more money. That's what I meant to say. Um, and so it's kind of like they're just hesitating here. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.